Good morning. We're back here in 1 Samuel chapter 16 now. So we're going to look at verses 6 through 11 here. Now, just, just to lay this out, God said he's provided himself a king from the sons of Jesse, and now we're going to go and try to find out who that is. So let's go straight to it. So it was when they came that he looked at Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees, for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah to pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Thus Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said to Jesse, Are all the young men here? Then he said, There remains yet the youngest, and there he is, keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, Send and bring him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. So he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy with bright eyes and good-looking. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. So there's a fundamental lesson going on here. Uh, Jesse causes his eldest son, and then the next eldest, and then the, th the third oldest. He causes them to keep to pass before Samuel, and none of those are the ones. All through, all the seven of the eight sons of Jesse, they pass before Samuel, and Samuel says, no, nope, the Lord isn't saying this is the one. The Lord isn't saying that it's him. And Jesse was quite sure to be one of his older sons. Samuel doesn't know any better. Samuel checks it out. But none of them are the ones the Lord said. And so it's it's confusing. There's confusion going on. And finally, Samuel has to say, well, have you, have you sent everybody through? And the, the youngest one hasn't come through yet. And so that's obviously that's going to be the answer. But it says here, and we look at this, the Lord does not see as man sees, for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Now, there's something about these different elder sons that they're not the leadership material that God wants. They don't have the courage or the boldness. They have some. We'll, we'll get to meet them a little bit in the in the uh, sections coming up, at least a little bit. But uh, they're not the kind of stuff that David is. There's something totally different between David and his older brothers. But we're getting ahead of the story. What we need to know here is that God doesn't see as man sees. God is looking beyond the outward appearance to the inner appearance. And so when we are looking for spiritual leadership, Somehow we need to make sure that we are discerning, discerning enough to find out who the person is that's on the inside. And when, then we can know what leaders God has provided. So we're looking here for a king, a king for Israel. Uh, that's, that's pretty big stuff. And what? Uh, it's none of these guys. As, as bold and big and brawny and ready to do battle as they, they present themselves as being, it's none of them. So remember, we don't always see it the way it is. We often see with, with obscured vision, but God can help us to see with clarity. So tomorrow morning, let's see what happens when uh, son number eight comes in. But for now, let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to see not with obscured vision, but with clear sight. Help us to see spiritually. Help us to look beyond the outward appearance. Help us to not second guess you when things, you know, oh, they, they look like they should be happening, right? But they're not, they're not happening the right way. Help us to trust you, Lord, when, when things seem to go sideways or go differently than we expected. We do not see as you see. You have bigger plans. And sometimes you do things in a very different way than we had in mind, but it's always better. Help us, Lord, recognize when we come to that spot of confusion, like this isn't working, help us to recognize to call on you and to wait for you. You will provide what is needed. So help us, Lord. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So. This is about seeing. This little lesson is about seeing how we see. We want to see with God's eyes as much as we can. And sometimes the things that we think we see get in the way. And we pray that he'll do that for you today in all that you're doing on this day in your service to him. God be with you.